we're already in a society of so much estrogen dominance. And you and I have done podcasts about the impact of gut imbalances and issues with the glucuronidation pathway, which is then causing further issues. So we could see this estrogen problem in a woman who is not on birth control. You could still see that manifest in this way. And so that's why you're getting off of the xenoestrogens. You're cleaning up your makeups. You're getting rid of plastics. You're fixing your gut. Yep. You're improving detoxification. All these other functional medicine strategies are directly impacting your ability to beat this situation. So, you know, we always want people to look at the big picture. Don't just look for the magic, uh, like berberine Paul Diarco remedy. And there was a question here in the chat. How many Paul Diarco capsules is needed for someone who has candida on their gut? I have no clue. Cause we rarely use it in isolation. We're always going to use it in yeah. a blend and a blend. I doubt you have just candida. You've probably got other issues too. So yeah. Someone, when they come in, they could have a combination of a little bit of a bacterial, a yeast issue, UTI thing. It could be a kind of a combination of two or three different things happening. This one may be more predominant. So we never want to just go all in on one thing. Again, if someone's having vaginal issues specifically, there's going to be things that we insert intravaginally, like some of the boric acid, like some of the neem or the berberines. And we'll probably interchange in some probiotics because part of the big problem is you have to get the the bacteria flora in the in the vaginal area back up to where it should be because it's the good bacteria that will help keep the other bad bugs in check through their natural acid and hydrogen peroxide production. Well said. And so the point I was making is that I don't want people listening and going, okay, just give me the freaking remedy. What's the the natural urinary tract remedy? That's what I'm here for. And we've talked about some of those, you know, the the manos, the cranberry, the berberines, the polyarcos, the French tarragon, this whole blend, you know, that may be the solution, but what got you here is important. Have you fixed the other issues that have gotten you here? And so I hope people see the big picture. Sometimes you and I are happy to just go, boom, hit the oregano oil. And we're happy to just throw out just this natural solution. But like you said, before we hit record, you don't want people skipping out on the low hanging fruit. Exactly. And so it's always good to do a history. Uh, I find the big issue is antibiotics can be a big factor. Uh, I also find uh, just some of the low hanging fruit, like the intercourse and the hydration can also be a big factor as well. You'd be surprised. And so my, my wife always comes to me. She's like, Justin, my friend has this issue. What should I recommend? It's like, well, it's hard. I can't really recommend a lot of things because I don't know much about them. If they're eating like crap and they're not hydrating and they're drinking lots of soda and they've been on lots of antibiotics, you know, I may say, hey, all right, do this Uber Ursi, but that's going to be palliative and not fix the, ho the whole lead up and how everything went down. So the lead up and I call it the, um, the timeline history of how we got to this point matters so much because, you know, if not, you were just – becoming naturopathic doctors that are using um, using nutrients and herbs like MDs use drugs. Now, again, I think that's better because a lot of these things are natural, have less side effects, but still we want to be holistic and still root cause. Yeah, well said.